In this video, I'll look at the amount of heat that's needed from the boiler of a 500 metric ton train in order for the train to climb a vertical distance of 50 meters. Okay, so here I've set up a diagram that shows the hot side, the cold side, work being done. This is the heat engine. And I know from the problem that this is the most efficient possible heat engine, which means that maximum efficiency is 1 minus T cold over T hot. And I have been given, well, the mass of the train, T hot, T cold, delta Y, so how much change in elevation the train needs to have. And I'm looking for how much QH I need with this efficiency. So this is just 1 minus T cold. It's 30 degrees, except it's not 30, because this has to be in Kelvin. So this is 30 degrees Celsius plus 273 degrees Celsius. So that will give me my answer in Kelvin over, same thing for hot, 100 degrees Celsius plus 273 degrees Celsius. So that is 1 minus 303 Kelvin over 373 Kelvin, or 0.188. So that's the efficiency of the engine. The question is, how much QH do I need to be able to go up this high? How high I go up is related to this amount of work. So work, remember, is force times some distance times the cosine of theta. The force that you're fighting with when you're going uphill is gravity. So this is mg, uh, that distance, well that would be our delta y. So now what is theta? I said the force was gravity. Actually, the force that I need to use to go up the hill, I have to oppose gravity. So this is the magnitude of the force that I need in the upward direction. Delta y is going upward, so both going up, theta is zero. That means cosine theta is 1. So m times g times delta y gives us the amount of work. That is 5 times 10 to the fifth kilograms times g, 9.81 meters per second squared, delta y, 50 meters. 2.45 times 10 to the 8 joules. Joules because kilogram meters per second squared, that's newtons, times meters gives us joules. All right, so now I know my efficiency and I know the amount of work. But what I'm looking for is QH. So I have to figure out this efficiency. Efficiency is what I want, in this case I'm trying to produce work, over what I put in. What I put in was the QH. So that means QH is equal to work over efficiency. One point three times ten to the ninth joules of heat.